see, we're doing Visual Basic version 6 here. And we're going to be making an application here, just for example, it's not going to do anything, it's not going to have a function. It's going to be to show um, the Install Shield Wizard 2010 application. So, what we're just going to type here install shield test app okay so we've got that and then we can talk we can add um anything we wanted so i could add a button that says click um click me we'll click on that was message box this is a, an example program for install shield wizard. Installs just right, it's not wizard unless you're installing it. And then we just close that. Okay, let's come back onto here and change it to fixed single. Then come onto here, click on it, and yep. Yeah. The project up here, so we can fix that to change it. Project one, project install shield test make test okay. So it's going to fill out all this okay. So install. Shield. If I can type it there, test. Okay, right. So, um, I'm going to label. Oh, I'm not really good at VB6 because I'm used to new um, VB.net caption. I don't know if it has these speech marks, so if I get it wrong, I'll fix it. I'll get rid of it, because I don't have time. So you can start doing this. Is a test program. Yep, see? It's because I don't use this, and it's normally label one dot text. <laughs> so, I haven't used VB6 for about four years. So that explains it. Now, one the nice thing about VB6 is you can actually make the EXE itself. So I'm going to go to make a folder in C. Test app program for YT. And I'm just going to select all that so I can go straight into it. Okay, so I need to create that first. I know exactly what this is, it's because Lenovo have done it like this. <laughs> Test program for white it's because um so that's with multiple replacements in it, so Lenovo have come have reset the user accounts, so it's not mine and I still haven't got used to it, so yeah. And but it's where it works, you can say. But okay, we're just gonna have a random label one there, but what we're gonna do is now gonna head over to here. I'm just going to add some, comp and as you can see, it's running it because it's saved it as that app. So what we need to do now is we need to come back now. Do you want really confuse me? Here I can just select my name and it works. So we're just going to find that. So it's just created an EXE. So we're going to cut that new folder. YT test. Ah, it's got to type it. Create something else in here like. Um, world bet okay we're going to edit this echo off
got a random collection of Hello Worlds in there. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to add Surf. So. Okay, going to launch that, wait for it to load. Create a new project, so just use this as a basic MSI, but you can also use the VB itself, but that's VB.net only. So it's going to be YouTube test program. We need that so you can go in and run it, so we're going to click OK, and it will load it. Right, first thing I'm going to show you is the application information. So I'm just going to change this. YouTube video. Okay, that's all correct. Installation requirements. Now you can select which version of Windows it requires now. This works on 98 and I believe it will work on 95 if you have the correct program installed to be done is that. And this is just using the new .NET framework, so we have the installation architecture. Application files, and this is where we need to go add files. Okay. I've just gone to the wrong thing. That's where you'll find these set of programs. So we need to go. Um, oh, yes. Get rid of that. Now we're just going to select these. Open. Now it's going to ask us the file value. We may have dependencies. So let's click on yes to all. Next. And it knows that it needs the Visual Basic Virtual Machine to install there. It's now going to add that to the in installation program. Let's go to shortcuts. No, it's awesome. I haven't created a shortcut, so that's what we're going to do. Is click on rename and come down here and say test program for YouTube. Yeah, okay. And of course, you can have more than one shortcut. You can change the registry, change the ULA stuff that you want to display that. We can prompt them that. Do you want them to instant modify it? No. Yep. Browse. So we just click on program files, YouTube video files, and then test program. Uh, I'll set that for that. Localization, that doesn't really matter. And build installation. Now, before we do that, we're going to go to the installation designer because we can actually change what it looks like. We can so I could build boards first. Here we can actually have Adobe Flash and images scrolling through. Now you need a separate program to do that, but it's not that hard to create if you know how to create a program in the first place. Dialogues. Okay, right. So we can choose Circles, Classic, Corporation, Film Strip, Global, the default one for now, the large one. Silver, money, and first one, and theatre. We'll just choose film strip, um, classic, I believe. We'll just go for classics. Click on select. Now, here we've got some so We can choose a single executable uh, internet, which will create and install the HGM for you. CD ROM, and single MSI package. I'll use the single MSI, but single X keyboard just does the same thing. Then we're going to go and build the installation. And now it says what we're going to do is going to, um, if it lets me copy this, yes it does. Head over to there. In the disk, give me just hold in disk one because it's there in case we go. This is a 1.73 megabyte installation program. Now I'll we'll install it. Yeah, now I'm gonna I haven't bothered changing that um product name stuff because I'll show you how to do that actually. Um yeah. But you actually have to go and change it yourself in here. The other issue is it does bug it up if you have the 
Um, I'm trying to think of it. If you let users change the installation directory, so you can just go and change it. And yeah, so we're fine. So I can go change this to just to the YouTube video directory, and that's what it'll copy. But I'm going to go and copy this anyway, so I can show you the files after we install them. Next, next, and wait for a. Yeah, it should be a UAC pop up. It's issue with these MSIs. <laughs> Here we are, so we get a UAC, click on yes. I copy the new files. You can actually launch it from here. If you set it up correctly. Yeah. So we have a clip. This is an example program for install shield. And we have successfully created our install shield um, program. And that's it.